Yeah, from Jersey Comics, from Connecticut Comics, this comic all the way from Texas, so you know he's fucking lost in 95. Please put your hands together for Patrick Soroy! Oh, what's going on, New Haven? Joke is wild. Somebody left their notes up here. Fuck it, I'll do their act. <laughs> See how that works. Now, nah, man, I. Uh, no! Calm down, just running. Cops running up on me. Like, Excuse me! Fat ass! Why are you running? <laughs> oh, it's cool, I'm just. Just jogging. Yeah, jogging. Lively story. But you, you fleeing the scene of a crime, Fatty? No, sir. No, just. Just running. Oh, uh, running. What is it? Two for one chili dogs down at the Wiener Schnitzel? <laughs> is it? <laughs> That's today? Can I get a ride? <laughs> Give it up. That makes your voice. Finish this big fucking thing and it's free. And all your boys are just like, try it. Try it. You're fat. Give it a whirl. I never do. I never actually do it because, like, I'm afraid. What if you don't make it? Because then you just, not only are you fat, then you're just bad at being fat. Like, you're not even a cool fat person. Like, <laughs> you're just some lame fat guy that not only can you not run and alarm people, you can't even win a fucking eating contest. It's the worst kind of fat guy to be. Oh, uh, let's see. Last month was Mother's Day. Everybody having a fine Mother's Day? Was it wonderful? He had the best Mother's Day ever. He was like, the only guy clapped. He's like, my Mother's Day was lovely. Now, Mother's Day is a complicated holiday, I think, because uh, you don't really know how to celebrate. I was confused. And then somebody told me, like, oh, it's real simple. Anybody in your what life that's a mother, just give them a call. Work, all right. So I called my mom, talked to her for a few minutes. I called my grandma, I talked to her. And that's when things got kind of gray, it got a little confusing because I knew this one chick that had an abortion. So I just called her and hung up having a good conversation. <laughs> it's, it seemed fitting. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a scrapper, man. I'm always out trying to get some money, man. I love, I like money. I like, I like what it does for you. Always trying to make a buck. My mind's always on the grind. Like, just the other day I was watching TV, and they have one of those commercials where it's like, you can feed the starving child in India for just 10 cents a day. Like, 10 cents, nice, nice. Now, how much do you get them to start making shoes? <laughs> how much do I gotta pay there to bring them over and just throw them over? I'm like, yeah, I got an extra room for you in my closet. And then I just get high and tell them to make like the flyest shoes ever. <laughs> I'm like, man, I want them to look like the Jordan 13s in the front. I want Reebok pumps in the back. Yeah. Exactly. Put them to work, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, uh, we're still involved in a war. We've been there for a couple years, and people start thinking, like, now we're there for a while, we got these desperate bottom-of-the-barrel attempts as to what to do to win the war. We're like, we should just fucking nuke them. Just nuke them. Yeah, cover them in radiation. Give them all superpowers. <laughs> nice plan. Got a bunch of radioactive Iraqis running around, biting our troops, turning into Iraqis. <laughs> I know how that shit works. You can't get it past me. Oh, man. I played a show in Boston last week. It was kind of funny. I played a show, and then I, I went out with a bunch of the comics afterwards, and I went to this party, and I talked to one guy the next day, and he was like, yeah, man, everybody up here, you have a Boston accent. That's kind of crazy, man. I'm from Texas. I'm not used to that shit. So he called me, he was like, yeah, man, everybody at my party thought your accent was wicked annoying. Your accent was so annoying, you annoyed everybody at my party. It's like, that's right, because when I talk, it sounds like I'm getting raped in the air. <laughs> All right, man, well, that's my time. We get on stage. Y'all been great. Thank you. Uh, like I said, I'm from Texas. I, uh, I had to drive all the way up here. That's kind of hard, man. The highways are a different, different territory now than they used to be. Uh, because you got fuel-efficient cars everywhere. And I don't know if you ever got stuck behind one of these fuel-efficient cars. But they go like 20 miles an hour on the highway. And they're a little hybrid. And I didn't really understand what they were doing for a while, but I finally figured it out. I was like, yeah, this asshole's going to save the planet. He's going to drive slow enough to see every square inch. <laughs> 
Yeah, because, you know, those guys with their cars. Oh, man. I thought it was cool the news people were here, and then they just took off, because I guess we weren't newsworthy. Ouch! No, nah, they were busy, man. They had to go They had to go film one of those commercials where they're all working, and they look at the camera and smile. <laughs> they were filming that tonight. They're like... <laughs> you know, but they, look prof they look more professional than I could ever hope to be in my entire life. I could definitely see them on a fucking like a billboard on the highway telling me that I'm the Cesar the city's most trusted news source. <laughs> oh man, I've been working out lately, which uh, like it was a shock. You're like, lately? Really? Yeah, but it's been lately I've been working out because it's kind of hard to start working out when you're fat. Because it's just like working out when you're fat is like admitting that you were wrong. <laughs> spend your whole life denying that you're fat. I'm not fat. I'm big boned. I'm just big boned. Big boned. Because we've all seen skeletons with three chains. <laughs> They're out there. No, it's like your whole life, I'm not fat. I'm not fat. You start fucking working out. You're like, okay, I'm fat. Just a little bit. But uh, no, I, 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 try to, I try to start jogging. And jogging is kind of tough when you're fat. Because you just can't openly do it. People see me running down the street, they think it's a fucking emergency. <laughs> they say, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! 